ketamine uh, induces a trance-like state, providing pain relief, sedation, and amnesia. Sorry. Amnesia. So do, do you not remember amnesia. a lot of the time that you were on ketamine? It definitely shit starts to get blurry, you know what I mean? I'm like, oh, I went to the fucking mall, you know what I mean? I'm like, what the fuck? Spending money and shit. I'm all ketamined out. I went ghost hunting on ketamine. Did a whole episode on ketamine where I went ghost hunting. How was that? Find did you anything? catch any ghosts? No, uh, dude, we went to the ghost Athorn Tower in Bangkok. We couldn't get in. This guy pulled a machete on us and fucking I fell like eight, six to eight feet off of a gate right under my back. I have it on camera. It's really funny. Were, were you but, trying uh, to climb over the gate at the time? I had jumped over the gate and then the dudes told us to leave and whipped out like a fucking machete and I jumped off the gate and fell really hard. But oh, uh, ketamine's crazy. You guys should try it. That sounds. I'm sounds, not told. Yeah, it doesn't sound that great. I'm nervous to put the video out because I feel like you know YouTube with their TOS and everything. Like, can I have me explicitly doing ketamine on camera? You know, I don't want to get age restricted. I definitely don't want to get it taken down. Yeah. Like the Thailand episodes, age restricted, demonetized, all that. I would imagine you definitely can't show yourself doing it. No, I'm not going to snort yeah. anything on camera. I'm because I like to leave it all it. open. You know, it's, it's it like. Sorry. Alcohol makes you fat. I have no interest. What's ketamine do? I might take some ketamine. Ketamine makes you smile and makes you confused. Yeah, it makes you I mean... smile and confused. <laughs> it's just, you it's can, very you weird. can watch like the same episode of your favorite show over and over and over and continue yeah. to like it. Would be no, my guess. I don't even know. We All we did, we, do, we just did it, played weird video games, listened to music, walked around outside, went to doing it in the clubs. Like if you do it in a club where there's like bitches and stuff and you're, oh man, it's fun. Does it create like a... Day? Does it create like a clam up effect like pot does to some people or is it like an outgoing out. thing like like alcohol? The, the first time I did it, I, I had drinking like a, a bunch of uh, alcohol and I snorted ketamine and started puking. And like, I think I was in a K-hole. I was like freaking out. Oh, yeah, shit. I snorted. It. It's kind of gross. I know. Yeah. No, I don't give a shit about that. I thought it was either. a pill. I just, I, it surprised me. Yeah. I thought maybe it was like a pill or something. No, um, it's like a white have you done, sleep better. Have you done acid? I've done acid a bunch, so I'm not. I mean, I'm I'm generally not Mr. Drug Guy, but uh, yeah, I've, I've done really acid agree a good to disagree. But you, but you recommend <laughs> yeah. ketamine, and you've done acid. <laughs> no, a bunch. no, yeah. Well, yeah. <laughs> I, you know, I get a lot of kids I, watch me. I have a big elementary school fan base. <laughs> <laughs> I want to get school. back to that. So Stay away how, from the K hole, kids. So too <laughs> ketamine. But, I haven't, uh, you know, <laughs> I haven't you told you guys about Mind Bloom yet. Except I man. signed up with this thing called Mind Bloom. I, I think I told you I was going to do it, but that was months ago. They sell ketamine. It's kind of expensive. Um, I think it was $1,200 for six hits. So that's a, it's, it's not for everybody. But um, it's legal. They're doctors, and they sign up. They 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 ship you. They have clinics pretty, now. Yep. Get me. Yeah. They ship you this pretty bougie kit with like a high end blindfold, some ketamine, some Zofran, so you don't get sick. Are you, um, are you serious? Yeah. I. What is your question? Right, Kyle. I know. I'm, I'm so good. Go tell ketamine. me more. Yeah. Get, I'm, 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 yeah. I'm in. But you, you I love in. ketamine. Ketamine is very addictive, though. Be very hold on, hold on, hold on, Larry. Some. Hold on, Larry. We, we're we're going to hear uh, Woody's ketamine. Tell us, tell so us they sell you this, this bougie kit with the blindfold and um, the Zofran and this and that. And, and it comes with a blood pressure cuff to make sure that, like, you're appropriate condition to do this. And before you do it, you talk with the therapist and you go over your goals as you want the, what you want this trip to be. Like, what are you working on? What are you doing? You know, this and that. And um, uh, then they give you the audio track to listen to. And it, it's pretty interesting. So to take ketamine, for those of you who've never taken it, you put it under your tongue and you wait. And uh, the therapist described it pretty well. She's like, it tastes like you think a pharmacy might taste. And I'm <laughs> like, yeah, yeah, that's about right. <laughs> <laughs> mm, bad. Like, <laughs> yeah. And you have to keep it under your tongue for seven minutes without <sighs> swallowing. Okay. And... Uh, while you do this, you're listening to their audio track, which is designed for this. So uh, like a chime goes off at the seven minute point and then you spit it out and, uh, you know, put on your blindfold and they give you this, like the soundtrack is influential. It's like motivational speeches and mind opening things about the meaning of life and, um, like what's important in this world how fleeting you know, this time on earth we have is and uh it between the therapy with the counselor the therapist and the audio track by the time you spit this stuff out you are really influenced to have an insightful trip and then the whole time you know you have your goals you're trying to work through like what that's right 
what do you want to happen on the other side of this trip? And it lasts two hours. And then at the end, like the counselor dials you back up and she has you write like your thoughts while they're still fresh, right? Ever wake up, you remember a dream very vividly. Mm -hmm. And then whatever, 40 minutes later, you can't remember it at all. There's a mm -hmm. similar kind of thing going on. So you write your notes as soon as you come out of this trip as to like what conclusions you reached while you're in this ketamine induced high. It's as if all my ideas are not subject to the second guessing that they normally are, right? You know, if you say, oh, I've reached this conclusion, you're like, yeah, you know, it's not that simple. There's some things on either direction of this. This is why it was hard in the first place. When you're on a ketamine high, the every idea you have is brilliant and unquestioned and and just like this is your this is what the answer is for you so i just sort of wrote down all these things like relationship things life things career things finance things mm -hmm. and these were my answers at the time now well you know they don't necessarily survive you know your sober yeah. inter interrogation of them but uh it is pretty neat to see what your mind arrives at when it's unencumbered by is the uh is the blindfold okay. just is that for the full two hours or yeah. just the, that's for the well it's set for the first seven minutes i think i wasn't okay. blindfolded when i waited with it under my tongue so i have so many questions how did yeah, you find so what's the service called mind bloom okay and how did you find out about them a friend sent it to me and said like you know what you might like this and and <laughs> I don't know how to say this without being an asshole. I didn't talk about money. I don't know how to be an asshole. But $1,200 for this, it, this is reserved for people who have $1,200 to throw away, right? It's not mm -hmm. everybody. But It was uh, how many hits? Forgive me. Six. Yeah. So here's what happens. They give you a dose the first time. And they're kind of aiming at the low side of right. And um, I came back and I was like, you know what? Like, I was high. It was influenced. I liked it. But the truth is, by... 45 minutes in, I felt like ever be drunk and you are drunk, mm -hmm. but if your mom was there, you could act not drunk. You could fight it. Yeah. And undo yeah. It. yeah. And I was like, I, I feel like I was kind of there, you know, like I, I was mm -hmm. definitely influenced and in, in doing it. But the second hour I was almost trying to be drunk, like white girl on white claw, trying to keep it going. Yeah. So they doubled my dose well, for all. the next five. And, and that's what happens. They send you one dose, you report back how it went, and then they send you the next five. Okay. So. I got questions. Right. Like that. <laughs> Go ahead. Go oh, ahead. I, well, my question was like, what, what's to stop you from being like, you know what? I decided to just do all these drugs and not call your therapist back. I just really wanted to get real high. It's so, um, the first one. I don't know. You like, I, I I guess I didn't think to question the program the first time. I wanted the therapist to sort of be there and guide me through it and help me with my goals and stuff. Uh, the second one, uh, I went, it was a little confusion. Like I went to schedule the second one and they're like, oh, that's unguided. And then they were texting me like, hey, why haven't you done the second one? I was like, low key, I did, but I didn't you know your website said that was unguided. I'm a little mixed up. And then three through six are just on your own. So, you know, they don't do that hand-holding once you mm -hmm. develop your own expertise. I'm, I'm curious. I don't know what ketamine costs on the street. And I know that doesn't that really doesn't matter because I don't want to commit Expensive. any crimes. But, but here's why it does matter. If I found out that ketamine costs, like, like LSD is cheap as fuck. LSD mm -hmm. is like $25 and we're going to get out of our minds. <laughs> so if I found out that, that they were selling me $1,200 worth of ketamine, but really it was $12 for the ketamine. I'd be like, God damn it. Is there a place I can just travel to and make a vacation of this and do it so, there? Mexico. Pause there. I know the answer to this. Yeah, that. It's yes. I paid a lot for this, right? Some people are going to call me stupid, but I get to choose that I valued the therapy a lot. No, 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 so, no, 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 no. You, right. you kept yourself out of any possible legal trouble while getting exactly what you wanted. Well, you haven't heard me through. Oh, then I wasn't. I can go to a place locally, I've learned, like in Raleigh, where they give it to you by IV and it's stronger and cheaper and better. Right? But I still don't feel ripped off because I feel like I got the value out of the set, the setting, the audio, like all those service. things. I was brand new, mm -hmm. right? Yeah, you know, service. If when I finish that, if I if I still want to do this again, I might go and do the IV route the next time around. But um uh for me, it was like, 
Is this a Look, North Carolina thing? I, I don't mean to interrupt you, but I'm mind bo I'm boggled here by the idea that ketamine is being slung out on the street. Ketamine by is a for prescription fun. drug, and doctors are given leeway to prescribe what they think helps you. Period. It's uh, given out by anesthesiologists pre-surgery frequently. I'm told. See, I knew that, but like, okay, it's not like I can go somewhere and get some laughing gas. There's not some doc who's like, "Hey, you want to go on a little silly trip real quick?" <laughs> <laughs> like that yeah. doesn't happen. So why is if you have a cool dentist? <laughs> yeah, your dentist. <laughs> <is weird. laughs> it smells like bubble gum. Hey Woody, I totally get what you did. Totally get what you did because of the experience. It's like going to a, a great massage parlor or whatever it is. It's it's an experience. When I, I did ketamine and have done ketamine and done acid, and I'm with Kyle, I like the acid a lot better. And I, even to, I'll tell you what, I didn't do that seven minutes. You didn't have to do that. You know, mm -hmm. the, we did a, 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 a dropper, you know, like, a, you know, the, what do they call them? A fucking uh, eye dropper. Yeah, like an you know, eye dropper. Yeah. Whatever. Under the tongue, boom, let it. I fucking totally enjoyed the high because I felt like you said, I didn't give a fuck kind of deal, like whatever it was, but I couldn't even stand up. I couldn't, like, I could not, I could, I was laughing at myself. I could right not back. fucking stand up. So when you think of that, how do you not stand up? It's fucking. You must have had a much higher dose than like this yeah. like, uh, introspective journal. Well, I, I, yeah, the yeah. seven minutes, it must have been crazy. But uh, again, I've done a lot of drugs. LSD or acid or whatever which you, you want to get me always to the best place that I've been where you can oh, laugh. Oh shit, he's got off. his fucking ketamine kit. God they damn, call, what is you know, they call it? God damn. They call it <laughs> ketamine. Think, dude, 2000, 2005, Woody would not recognize this man. This, this, <laughs> this, this, this yoked ass fellow what, coming, coming in with his ketamine kit in the mansion. <laughs> <laughs> having like, having wait, a ketamine, what? yeah. Dude, you, you said that so well. Walking in with his ketamine kit and his mansion, like that's, uh, this is the coolest Zach, thing you've ever done. <laughs> this is my uh, bougie little ketamine kit, and I open it up. I can't stress enough how high quality this fucking uh, <laughs> I think is. It, it's got like little pads here. Anyway, well, I want a buck. Um, yeah. <laughs> this is a notepad. I don't write very well, but I type well, so I didn't use it. It comes with this tricky little pen. Everything about this is high quality. This is the blood pressure cuff, if I could open it with one hand. Um, and finally, I don't want to show this too carefully because it's like my doses and personal information printed on it. But uh, these are the ketamine tablets. And oh, this is the anti-nausea Zofran stuff. And this is just my freaking bougie little... Oh ketamine experience did you need the anti-nausea i haven't tried it without it i'm finished zach oh i i wonder i'd like to hear others experiences of doing it without it because I, although I, so i'm going to do this as, is this north carolina is this everywhere like what it's my impression it's everywhere but i'm not sure i just know that it's in raleigh I I am going to look, I'm going to find the closest way to go somewhere and get an IV of fucking ketamine. Although I do hate IVs, but I'll do it for this. I, I, <laughs> I if they'll give me the anti-nausea, anti I'll, I'll put the IV in myself. That's you the problem. You don't need an IV. That's for sure. I, I want to fuck, I want the hardest hit I can get. I want to go somewhere. It's just going to get there quicker. It's not so much harder. Hard. You know, it's a process, but it's going to get there. Well, however they'll give it to me, I, uh, if it's legal, then I'm absolutely down because I love shit like this. I I never thought I would do ketamine because it sounds so. It's like, how did the dealer get this? Because it's like an anesthetic. It's like it's a horse tranquilizer. Yeah, I've heard it. I've heard cat tranquilizer. I think vets just have it. I get. Do you have to rob a fucking vet to get the shit? That seems so shitty. <laughs> <laughs> I know a guy who can rob anything. <laughs> Hear me out. He's a crooked jeweler. <laughs> I, I, bet they've got good shit. I bet if you break into like an animal hospital that, that they've got like the you know the animal version of some really good stuff but under less scrutiny than uh than a pharmacy or a hospital here you go kyle you uh, get caught robbing some dogs you could probably just offer kyle says there's one in is, atlanta that's that yeah, link he gave you zach when prescribed it. by a physician licensed to practice in georgia ketamine for off-label treatments is legal boom so you can you can get on it. And do your I, I was journals. just told by a, a friend of mine who's in this business and he sells to doctors all kinds of stuff from MDMA to all the psilocybin. Argument. And he talked to me about ketamine. He goes, Larry, he goes, they think they had a uh, opioid addiction crisis in the country. 
was ketamine is going to be worse. This is what a guy's really? been around for a long time. He said is very, very addictive. Now, I've done it a couple of times. Again, I didn't have it. He goes, not everybody, I'll always. He goes, yeah, you what? seem resistant to addiction if you did the opioids like that. Me, I can't speak to that kind of le- I've done, I forget if I've done two or three trips. I think it's just two so far out of the six. Yeah. So, and, and I'm like, it's been four weeks. I'm not pulling for it or anything. I'm actually behind schedule. You're supposed to take it weekly. The idea is that it, they call it, I don't know how much of this is bullshit, but it seems to be in actual research. They call it, I think, neuroplasticity, where you're mm. just a little more influenced, where you can program yourself to have happy thoughts and be good. And you should take it weekly so the sort of neuroplasticity sets. It's cumulative. Mm-hmm. I haven't done that properly. I took one, waited two weeks, took the other. It's been like four weeks since then. You know, So I'm not following the program like I'm supposed to. Okay, uh, but it, describe the high to me because this is kind of out of your yeah. uh, your normal sphere of uh, oh. influence. This is this this is different. Everyone's so bad at describing highs, and I'm no better. Mm. But yeah. um, for one, I was in a very good mood. Um, they put me in this sort of set and setting that I was there to work problems out and not waste the high, mm-hmm. right? So I'm like intentionally thinking about. Yeah, what to me are the major things in life, like family, finance, relationships, like all that shit. And uh, you know, what brings what's what brings actual joy and happiness at a deeper level, right? Not mm-hmm. roller coasters, but like fucking fulfillment. And uh, so I'm there, like processing those kind of thoughts. You know, getting ready to take notes on it afterwards. And every thought I have is the right one. It's like aha. You know, this is what fills Jackie's bucket. Aha, this is what fills mine. Like I, I've, I'm rising at these brilliant conclusions. Mm-hmm. And uh, in addition to that, it's just a really sort of happy vibe. I've got the, the music playing that normally I'd get bored to, just like rhythmic sounds and gentle mm-hmm. music. But under ketamine, it is not the least bit boring to me. It is just facilitating and, and happy and joyous. Carry on. Do you think you'd like to just take a whole bunch of it and watch star wars wouldn't that be pretty fucking cool you know they program me to feel like that's a wasted high right to to be like you know what this i hear you right you're like hey there's more highs where that came from but uh to me like i i really got into sort of the they have mind bloom has audio tracks right they're labeled one through six and uh if it's your third time doing it you listen to the third one and it's sort of a speaker putting you in the mindset to sort out problems and issues, and okay, um, and, that's what and I was do you feel? For. Do you feel like uh, maybe you solved any issues that maybe you didn't even know you had? And like, like you, you know, I like ref- I referred back to those notes, and I found that my conclusions were good ones, and I just need to be reminded of them. Like, ever read a motivational book? Mm -hmm. And you come out of it like the best version of yourself, right? You finish seven secrets of highly successful people and you're like, fuck, yes, I am going to start my day with a to-do list and then work it. And I'm just so much better than I was before. And then four months later, it wears off. Mm. I refer to my notes and my conclusions and be like, Uh, I was supposed to be winning friends and influencing people. (laughs) (laughs) No, but like I I refer to my notes and I'm like, you know what? I was right when I said this, you know, like this is, this is what fills Jackie's bucket, for example. And uh, I'm going to do this this as soon as possible. What like, I'm going to look at all the like available clinics. I don't understand quite how they're able to do this, but there's a way to like, just get me a whole bunch of ketamine and take it at home while I watch movies. That's all I want. If I'm being Doctors honest, like, don't I'm, I'm... face a lot of scrutiny. And I like this it... about what they prescribe, <laughs> right? As, as maybe you have some limited experience, like, Hey, all these are legal drugs. They typically They're don't calling give them... it Obi-Wan Kenobi therapy. <laughs> <laughs> like, like, like I, I, you know, this is a legal drug. It's not usually used for you know this purpose, but it turns out that, you know, if a doctor thinks it's right for you, then you can have it. And the academy maybe falls under a, a, that kind of umbrella. Wow, so we give those doctors a lot of uh, a lot of leeway, huh? Yeah, like, like we just kind of just trust whatever they say. So ketamine as a street drug is expensive. Probably a good is idea what, is what Larry said, right? Like pretty pricey. He did say that. And it's is it is it like not safe on the street? Like it's not the quality. I, I don't even know. I don't know shit about ketamine. No, I, I don't either, but I know the guy I was with 
and I trusted him. Obviously, that's what I always I always say. But I didn't have anything Woody had with the head. Maybe it was other stuff I was fucked up with or whatever. But <laughs> it, it, you know, I had the fucking like total feeling. He's saying, but I didn't get like I could you know, my life, or maybe it was just that we were focused on. I, you know, I well, try I to run away from shit. You know what I mean? <laughs> In my own way. And so I, everybody has their their outs. You know what I mean? Whatever they do. So, yeah. I hate to bore people with my freaking repetitive mushroom story, but you know, when the the time I did that, that it worked, I was at a campfire with good friends. The set and setting has a big impact on your high, and mm-hmm. probably everyone's done alcohol. That has an impact too, right? Like if your dad's letting you drink and you can't act like an asshole, then that's one experience you might have with alcohol. But if you're with your friends and you're like pumping it up and it's okay to be the ridiculous uninhibited version of yourself, Mm -hmm. then you get a different experience from alcohol. Ketamine has to be the same way. You know, they just sort of put me in a place where I had some pleasurable deep thinking. So that's really fascinating. I did not know that you could get ketamine for these purposes. You're going to do it. Uh, Not at, not at $1,200 for six of them. Well, no, we'll find a cheaper way. Like, 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 we don't need all that therapy stuff. Like, like he was interested in that, but we aren't necessarily. Well, I don't know I, about you, but I, I, wanted, I want some ketamine. If I was going <laughs> to do it once, I would spend the first one trying the journal and thing. See if I actually doses. discover anything. Give me one big dose. <laughs> if, if like, if like those fools said trips f- two through five at once. <laughs> like, do, like the, do it for the environment, if nothing else. Just br- one bottle full. Like, if after, <laughs> if after I take one in journal, I'm like, let's see what I got, and it's like how to fix the Amazon Lord of the Rings show. And it's like, okay, well, I'm just gonna do drugs. Like, just, <laughs> this was what I was really that. concerned about. There's pages of this. <laughs> <laughs> And you get insurance to cover it. Oh, I'm I'm so into this. I, I'm gonna do a little more research. I had no idea. You would think when a drug became like willy nilly prescribed that there'd be like, hey everybody, guess what? And like there'd be like yeah. a party, like you in the streets or something, like like uh, a ketamine cared. party. <laughs> yeah, a yeah. ketamine party, like for real. Like, <laughs> I figured you would have like a party? Google alert set up for drug legalizations. Is, is your yeah. blood pressure fine, Kyle? I forget. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I gave oh, it okay. highest in class. <laughs> Always number one. No, nobody even comes close. At your age, it should be. Mine's uh, also I, fine, but I have to work to keep it fine. And that was a yeah, thing that I, I was I, like, you know, it, it was like, it was cool, but that I was worried on like game day that it would be high or something. But the was- testosterone um, definitely raises my my uh, mm. my blood pressure. It's just a consequence, and all the red meat I eat, but also raises my uh, raises my blood pressure. And so I have to be really careful with salt. I can't use as much as, as I can't salt my meats properly because I eat so much meat. If I'm mm-hmm. like on a bulk, if I'm actually eating like two fucking pounds of meat, just the amount of salt that goes on two pounds of meat a day is a lot, a lot of fucking salt. It's too much salt. But uh, last time I got it done was when I um, got that blood work done maybe two months ago. Mm-hmm. I don't know. I sent you my BP, whatever it was. I don't remember. Oh, and I, I, would, I, I couldn't tell you what a good one is. I'm not that guy. Oh, 120 over Google, is the answer. Every time yeah. I do mine, I Google and I'm like, all right, we're good. All right. <laughs> um, yeah, so anyway, that's my ketamine story. I wanted to tell it. Mm-hmm.